Ladies and gentlemen, this is your game dev speaking. Today we'll go through the process of integrating Google AdMob with Unity. Here we go. All right, so this is a fresh project entirely clean with platform set to Android. And uh, first let's uh, go to our project settings and do some changes. In the player settings, uh, make sure that the orientation is set to portrait. I mean, of course. Uh, change the name, change the company. Now let's uh, go to yeah and uh, let's check that. Oh yeah, since now Play Store have the new changes or APIs, so we have to do this. ARM7, of course, and uh, let's create a key. And uh, yeah, let's quickly create a key. All right, and uh, just like that, we are done. That's all the settings we need. Now, first let's create some UI for buttons to display different ads. Uh, of course in the actual game this will be different, like uh, after the player completes a level or during some game over screen etc. So we are making this just so that we can define when the ad will be loaded and viewed. So right now we will have two buttons, one for the interstitial ads and one for the rewarded ads. A little bit of explanation. Interstitial ads are the ones that are displayed in between the game, like say during the load menu or like when the player loses or something, like they have a condition to play. Rewarded ads are the one where player watches an ad to get some in-game reward, which can be in any form, like say increasing players coins or giving them some advantage, etc. etc. Now first we are gonna need some backend, so let's head over to Google's AdMob website. And it's a pretty simple procedure, just follow my steps, select your country, yes, definitely read the agreement. <laughs> uh, let's continue to add more. It, it usually is sudden, but uh, it may take a little bit of a while. Alright, now first things first, let's head to, to home and let's click on get started. Android, of course if it's iOS then iOS. Uh, yeah, let's create a name for the app. Yeah, I'm going to set it to AdMob test and let's create some ad units. Ad units refer to the different types of ads which we can display, of course banner, interstitial and rewarded. Uh, by the way, banner ads are the ones which are displayed in rectangle boxes on the top of your screen, right? Top or bottom of the screen, Those, that's the banner ad. And yeah, let's just follow these things. Don't worry, you don't have to copy the IDs, we can get them later. Let's create an interstitial ad. And uh, let's create the rewarded ads. By the way, these things like these uh, rewarded uh, settings can be changed later. All right? And you don't have to have the same settings as you have here. All right, they are more of just to remind us. Now let's get the AdMob Unity SDK, so just search for it and uh, this is where you can have it. Of course the link will be in the description. Let's just download that thing and uh, let's go to AdMob website. Uh, here we don't have to write much of code since we like, since Google AdMob already gave us. Now let's drag and drop the SDK, import everything, uh, we don't need to leave anything. All right, now let's create a new folder called it scripts and create a new script called banner ads. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. And here, here it is. We can literally just copy this thing, control V here, change the name and boom, the ads are initialized. Now let's just uh, copy this ID. Don't worry, this is the test ID. We need to change the, change it to the real ID later. And yeah, let's just copy this thing, paste it here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. This is as easy as that. <laughs> we don't have to do any programming. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, add these things here as well. Because why not? <laughs> okay, let's get the conditions for loading and showing the banner ads. Now, yeah, there we go. And uh, I believe that is actually it. We just need to add one small thing as well, which are, which is these. This is the thing which actually creates the banner ad. Let's just paste this here. 
and boom we are basically done uh, the only thing left is just add a small start method and this is the start method where we initialize so we can simply just write load add here and boom we are done let's create an empty and call this banner add whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah we basically are done and as you can see the banner add is there it's of course the test end and you can see all the debugs there as well now let's head over to the interstitial ads this is the most revenue generating ads by the way let's create a separate script for this and uh, let's open it in visual studio as well of course we're gonna do control c control v for this as well so let's just create copy this id again remember we have to change the id later all right copy this thing paste it here uh, we need to use these uh, namespaces of course for the for the program to work now let's just copy this part paste this thing here uh, of course this is the show interstitial add function and uh, yeah we just need to copy this as well what this uh, the reason why we copy this is so that we know what the interstitial ad is doing like either it's closed or opened does it fail to load or something so we can do stuff accordingly now remember we already have a function to show the ads all we have to do is just load them so let's create a start function and uh, let's just load interstitial ads and yeah we are done now let's just create a, another empty call this one interstitial again we can call it kind of whatever we want and uh, remember we are already initializing uh, ads from the banner ad so we don't have to initialize it from interstitial as well from the button we can simply call the show interstitial function and let's just click on the play button all right now let's click on the interstitial and yeah we can see it loads the interstitial ad if you click on the button again you can see it gives us an error and this is where those extra functions come where yeah we wrote now the interstitial ad is not loading again once it's closed so what we can do here is simply write that function there we go and just pass in our interstitial ad back in unity let's play let's close this interstitial ad let's click on again and yeah now we can see how many times we click it's gonna load it great let's create a new empty object in the canvas remember we're making this in the canvas the reason is that uh, just so that we can know that the rewarded ads are actually giving us rewards so we're basically gonna print out the reports now let's create uh, text call it as coins and another one is the numbers zero zero of course and this is the value we're gonna change accordingly now let's just rename this and yeah we can now just go ahead and create a new script call this one as rewarded and uh, yeah simple let's just go here go to the rewarded ones get started and uh, yeah let's just open this script in visual studio copy the id of course uh and yeah the the method is basically the same just copy the load the thing then show the thing Although for rewarded, it's gonna be a little bit different. And remember the namespaces, that's very important. For rewarded, it's gonna be a little bit different cause we need to get the reward as well. So yeah, we are gonna change this. And uh, yeah, this is a little bit uh, wrong for the code in Google's uh, platform, Google side. So yeah, let's just make the necessary changes. Do the changes according to your needs, right? Like. Because your interstitial name, your the name of your ad might be different than mine, so yeah. And the extra functions, and this is where the reports actually come in. Uh, yeah, this is the place where you actually put down your reports, right? So this is where the extra. This is the, these are the extra functions. And yeah, let's just create a new. Uh, this is again this is just for the showing that yeah the thing works so let's create a new text mesh pro UGA, gui this is where we're gonna show the coins and over here in the reward function we can simply just say coins dot text equals to uh, coins uh, we can simply just add a value we can give them some value dot to string or we can just simply get the current value and add 50 to it so yeah, we can just get dot text 
plus 50 not to a string there we go yeah let's create an empty uh, drag and drop this thing drop the icon and drop the text and yeah let's click on the play button let's click on get report and nothing happens because we didn't assign the button <laughs> yeah we make this mistake let's create the start function because we didn't also we also didn't create the start function to load the reported ads <laughs> so yeah let's create that as well let's click on the play button click on get reward yeah we can see the five second timer click on the close and yeah you can see coins five yeah we are good but if we click on get report again you can see it doesn't work same with the interstitial ad so we need to load the reported ads once it's done so once the ad is closed we can simply load the rewarded ad once again let's uh, let's click on the play button again let's click on get rewards yes we got ourselves an ad close this thing again and click on get reward again and uh, yeah it works great now uh, there are a few things left to do remember when you actually publish the game change the id from the this test id to your actual id okay okay one of the last things to do is to get your app id so for that we can go to all apps and copy this from here uh, uh, let's go to assets Google mobile ads and we need to copy this here so let's just copy here and paste this here this is really important or else your build will actually fail if you don't do this okay one of the actual last things to do and this is actually the last thing make sure you after all of this is done go to assets external dependency manager Android resolver click on resolve and then do it again with force resolve this is also really important or else your build might fail okay and so yeah, that would be just about it. That's all for now. See ya. Peace out.